we are asked to simplify the given expression. Looking at the expression, we simplify the numerator and denominator first, and then perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. Notice the numerator does not simplify because the bases are not the same. But in the denominator, we do have x to the 7 eighths times x to the 1 fourth, and therefore we simplify by determining this product, and because we are multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents given by the product property of exponents shown here. So for right now, the numerator remains the same. And now on the denominator, x to the power of 7 eighths times x to the power of 1 fourth is equal to x raised to the power of 7 eighths plus 1 fourth. And we still have y raised to the power of 5 halves. And that's determine the sum of these two fractions. We have 7 eighths plus 1 fourth the least common denominator is eight, and therefore we need to write one-fourth as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of eight. We do this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by two. This gives us seven-eighths plus two-eighths, which is equal to nine-eighths. The denominator simplifies to x raised to the power of nine-eighths y raised to the power of 5 halves. And the numerator is still x raised to the power of 3 eighths, y raised to the power of 1 third. Now that both the numerator and denominator are simplified, we can perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. Remember when dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents given by the quotient property of exponents shown here. And notice how it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So we'll think of this as two parts. We'll first divide the terms with the base of x, and then the terms with the base of y. So x raised to the power of 3 eighths divided by x raised to the power of 9 eighths is equal to x raised to the power of 3 eighths minus 9 eighths, and y raised to the power of 1 third divided by y raised to the power of 5 halves is equal to y raised to the power of 1 third minus 5 halves. And now let's find these two differences. 3 eighths minus 9 eighths is equal to negative 6 eighths, which simplifies to negative 3 fourths. Notice 6 and 8 share a common factor of 2, so we divided the numerator and denominator by 2. And then we have 1 third minus 5 halves. The least common denominator here is going to be 6, we need to write both fractions as equivalent fractions with a denominator of six. We multiply the numerator and denominator of one third by two, and the numerator and denominator of five halves by three. This gives us two sixths minus 15 sixths, which is equal to negative 13 sixths. So now we have x raised to the power of negative 3 fourths, y raised to the power of negative 13 sixths. But we're not done simplifying yet because we need to express this only using positive exponents. Looking at the negative exponent property, we have a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. The way I remember this property is if we write a to the power of negative m as a fraction with a denominator of one, if we move a raised to the power of negative m across the fraction bar, or in this case, down to the denominator, it will change the sign of the exponent. So again, if we write the given expression here as a fraction with a denominator of one, if we move x raised to the power of negative 3 fourths to the denominator, it will change the sign of the exponent from negative to positive. And if we move y to the power of negative 13 sixths to the denominator, Again, it will change the sign of the exponent from negative 13 6 to positive 13 6. And therefore, the simplified expression is 1 over x raised to the power of positive 3 fourths, y raised to the power of positive 13 6. This is a simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.